to access and maintain timesheet information for your employees, navigate to Arranging Director and Timesheets. The maintenance page appears. From here, you can go to Timesheet Maintenance by clicking on the calendar icon to select a date. You can select an employee by clicking on the drop down and then click on Select. As you scroll down, you will see the timesheet period. If you click on Fill 40 Hour Week, the information populates as you need it. You can add overtime, sick time, vacation, and holiday in all of those fields, and you can also add a weekly note. Once you have selected everything you need for this particular timesheet, click on Add Timesheet. The View Pay Period option will show you all timesheets entered for your selected pay period. So click on the date. Again, the pay period must start on a Sunday if that's in your settings. We'll click back a month. View the pay period. As you scroll down, you will see the pay period history as well as the annual time off summary. To print this information, click on print on the top right. The employee's regular overtime, sick, vacation, and holiday hours are detailed. The annual time off summary will follow the pay period history section. Earned hours are obtained from the values entered for the employee through your employee maintenance. Go to System Settings. Data Setup, Employee Maintenance. From here, you can add information clicking on the Edit button, Time Off Hours Earned, Effective Dates, as well as any of the contact information. Once you've made any changes, click on Edit. Those changes will be made when you go back into Arranging Director for your timesheets. If you see an envelope with an arrow icon, that indicates that the week has been previously submitted, and the lock icon indicates the timesheet has been locked against employee edits, but it has not been submitted yet. The lock user edits prevents employees from editing previously added timesheets. You can use this if you are not ready to email your timesheets, but you wish to disable the edits. When you are ready to email your timesheets, select the pay period, and click the Lock and Submit button. The timesheets for this period will be emailed and the timesheets will no longer be editable by non-administrators. To set up the email where your timesheets will be emailed, click on System Settings, Arranging Director Admin, scroll down to Timesheet Setup and click on the Values link. This is where you can designate the number of weeks in a pay period, the day of the week where the pay period starts, as well as your email addresses. Update the information. Return to Arranging Director for the timesheet maintenance for any of the employees that are listed here.